Yo, what's up guys? We're back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the location of how to get to Arlong Park, and also how to beat Arlong. So, you're going to start off from Shell's Town, okay, and what you want to do is you want to start from like the main place, and you want to turn, you want to go to the left side, and you'll see the stairs. Go up here, past these guys, up these stairs. Yeah, it's this way. Go, go straight instead of going right. Go straight. Keep on going this way. Then what you do is when you get to here, you go down these stairs and they go right. And then what you do is you drop down here, and then you turn right, and then oh. Give me a second. I need to get the eternal pose, but it's like right here, guys. So just give me a second. I just passed it. Okay, here we go. Yeah. So you want to do is basically um once you're on this side and you followed me, when you go down, when you jump down here, you'll see like this guy here named Kevin, and you want to go left, drop down. Go straight, straight, straight. Go right. You'll see a tree. You'll see three trees. Go past the first tree. And then get to the second tree. And face straight towards it. And then turn like halfway. Basically. Actually, no. Basically, just go like straight north almost. Just a little bit. You can basically just go straight north. Let me just spawn my ship real quick. So, you see the, the trees right there. And this is basically straight from where we just went. And take it further along. You want to go straight this way. Do not turn at all. Just keep on going this way and you'll find it eventually. So, um, while I'm making my long journey here, I'm going to be telling you guys about... Oh, wait. I thought my ship was broken. My ship was maxed. It's maxed. I'm going to tell you guys about the requirements and just other stuff like that. So, what you will need, obviously, is, I'm pretty sure to be Arlong, I mean, to do the Arlong quest, you need, like, level, like, 150, maybe? Not, not even 100, no, probably, probably, like, 100. I recommend for this that you have Black Leg, which, if you go to the, if you go to the Barriot, whatever, what? Barati, Barati, not Barry, it's Barati. If you go to the Barati and you talk to some dude, you'll see him. You can, for 9,000 Pelly, you can get Black Leg. I recommend getting up to at least 55 Mastery. And for, you don't need like certain stat points. All you need is like a decent, you need a decent amount of defense. Okay, all, also you probably should have hockey for this. You know, at least 55 mastery. Actually, no, you don't need it. 55 mastery. But I would recommend having demon step for this, but you don't need it. Like I already said. You do, at least have, like, some of the skills. At least up to, like, party table kick course you should have. Make sure to get a lot of stamina, because you're going to be spamming a lot of moves, and we're here. So you're going to be spamming a lot of moves to kill this dude, so make sure. So you'll walk in... And what you want to do is you want to go past this gate here. And you want to go... Uh, um, no, you want to go right. So you want to go here. You want to go through this little gate here. And you'll get here and you'll be like at the, st the start. What you want to do, go right. Go through this little gate right here. Turn left. See Bomey if you want. Thousand Pelly to get a turn of force, hundred percent recommended. Whenever you go to an island, you should buy one of those and set your spawn. So talk to this guy, Robo, and set your spawn. Once you do that, if you have everything I said, which is decent amount of stamina, a decent amount of defense, at least mastery up to party table kick course, and a good amount of strength. You don't need gun mastery and sword mastery or anything, obviously. So then, once you have that, you're all set. What you want to do is once you're prepared and you're high enough level, you got all the requirements. What you want to do is from a spawn, basically just go to the main gear we just were. And what you want to do is you want to walk up here. 
and you want to talk to this girl named V. She'll say, Saw Shark is the boss, you know, causing lots of problems. If you're going to feed him, give him rewards. All right, good luck. So as soon as you enter this door, this is not like a normal door, because usually doors, if you don't really know, you just walk through them in the game, and you can fight. This door actually teleports you. So, like, you get the little look, animation screen where you teleport, like a little black hole appears. And I'm going to be basically going down. I'm going to show you how to beat him, obviously. I'm going to beat him in this video. And I'm also going to be showing you guys tactics. Because, obviously, you want tactics if you're going to fight a boss. So, you know, it would be way easier. So, be prepared. Turn on. You don't need hockey. Don't turn on your hockey. Put on demon leg. You don't need it. You'll spawn in. Okay, he's starting shooting me already. Oops, did not mean to do that. Well, I mean, she's a good thing. Now, like I said before, it's recommended you high defense. You don't actually need high, that high defense. You just need defense high enough so that when he does his little twirly thing, which is like his main move that you want to watch out for, you can defend against it and not lag. So, you want to be able to at least defend this move. You don't need it. The other move that you, you're probably saying, like, you need to you kind of need good defense for is this move right here, where basically these little holes come out of the wall with weapons, and they shoot you down, and they take a lot of damage, so you've got to block it, or else you're going to get fumed, and it's not fun. But, there is a solution for that. It's, sound, it's funny to sound, you can actually just leave the area. He won't regen, he'll be the same exact health. And you can basically just do that. But, what I recommend if you hockey is you just dodge your shot. And then every time he laughs, he'll start doing the little weapons thing. So what you want to do is when he does the weapon things, you leave hockey and enough defense. You want to turn on hockey, run to the opposite corner, or run to the opposite side of the ring. And then once you're there, what you want to do is you just want to make sure your hockey is turned on and then just block. And if you have enough defense, you should, you should be completely fine. Also, if you don't have enough defense, you can just leave like that. And as you can see, I'm completely fine. If I go back in, I'm waiting for my stamina to go up a little bit here. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you some tactics without black leg. Obviously, I'm not expecting you guys to have. I'm not black leg, demon leg. So... A good strategy I do is use party tank to table pick for every chance you get. Because it is very helpful. Like, very. It is very useful. Okay, I need to turn down my audio real quick. Give me just a second. Don't want to be too loud for you guys. Okay. So really you only want to turn on your hockey whether you're going for like a attack and you want to, you know, get a lot of damage off of them. Or when you're, the only other time you use it is when you're blocking. Ah, oh, that's unlucky. I was just about to combo him too. So what you want to do is like I said, run to the opposite corner and then just block. Don't actually stay completely in this corner because there's this weird glitch for some reason where he jumps up and down. It makes it really hard to hit. It's not supposed to be part of the game, but it's a really annoying glitch, and I find it so annoying. Now, one good combo, you should be... Don't use B-Shot. Like, you basically don't use B-Shot, like, at all. There's, like, no reason to even use it. I don't know why you would be using it. The only things you're really focusing on right here is Anti-Manor Kick Course, Party Table Kick Course, and Coiler. So what you want to do is hit him into a corner, then use the Party Table Kick Course, hold it so you get all the damage. Once, hold... Okay, I just messed up. This is... Oh, uh, this is unfortunate. You want to do... Oh, I hate you, Arlong, dude. You will not allow me to show the viewers how to defend you. Okay. Hit him into the corner. Use your part table. Let's see if this works. Then after, you want to you do Coiler. Then hit him with another combo. And then do, hit him with anti manner Now it's going to do a lot of damage. And you can kind of just repeat this. So always use Coiler a lot because it's very good for combos. It's very good. So, you want to make sure you're on top of that.
so we're just kind of going to box him down. Now, you know, when you first do this boss, you might think he's pretty menacing, but once you learn his tactics and you learn, you learn basically how to beat him and all the strategies, he is probably the e one of the easiest bosses in this game. Because his, he might be annoying when you first fight him here. Like, this guy's so annoying. I might just quit fighting him. But all you need to do is learn his tactics. Get down, like, when he does what. And understand the main basis of that. And you're literally set. Like, I've basically, I've fought this guy at least, like, 20 times. And I basically just mastered exactly this guy's whole set of stuff, as you can see. I can combo him and just counter him overall very easily. Now you can do the same too, guys. You might you might be watching this, or like probably won't, but like, you might be watching this like, wow, this guy's actually, this guy's really good at comboing. But I'm not even that. I'm not good at comboing him at all. It's just it's just learning how he does it. When learning when he does certain stuff. Now, obviously, you're gonna mess up sometimes, like I just did, and I've messed up before. So it's not that big of a deal to mess up. But it is recommended that you have a decent amount of defense only because so you don't get completely murdered. It's just 30 damage every hit, which is it's not fun. I'll just say that. It's definitely not fun. It's a lot of damage. Okay, let's see. And. You know, you don't want to lose all that health. Which is why I'm going to teach you guys some good combos for, against Arlong. Now, Arlong is not good for, like, grinding SP. But, he is good because he has a Kiribachi, which has two movesets. Okay, I'm going to the door because my hockey's going to run out. And we're using Black Demon Like, Like I already said, don't need Demon Like at all. Like, you really just don't need it. It's a big help because it makes the process faster. But that's it. it it's not like if you, it's going to be like. It definitely makes the process faster. And it's a little bit easier when you actually have it, obviously. But it's really not like that big of a difference, you know? Okay, that was a. That was a big mess, I'm kind of mad at that, honestly. But yeah, you really don't need it, not need it at all. It's definitely helpful, because, you know. But if you're just focusing on wanting to beat him, then, yeah, this is perfect for you. But, I would only fight this guy that if you want his drop, which I do want to drop. And let me tell you guys, this is, it's not going to be easy because it's a 5% drop, okay? And I, like I told you guys, I've fought this guy about 20 times, and I, I haven't gotten his drop once. So, as you can see, did not get it there either. So, I'm just, I just want to let you guys know before you're going to start your process of trying to get the Kiribachi, I'm just going to say this now. That's definitely not easy. As easy it might sound, it's the boss itself is very difficult. It's a little time consuming, but it's not like you're gonna take like five hours to kill him. So, basically, yeah, that's really it. It's not that hard of a boss. It's very, 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 ma it makes you very angry, though. Because, not because of the, him killing you, because of the fact that you've killed him so many times and you still haven't gotten his drop. So once I get this guy's drop, I'm never coming back to the island again. And neither got you should either, guys. Like, you shouldn't even come to this island if you want to grind in general. That's not even a good idea. Like, this island's not good at all. The only reason people actually go here is to get the Kiribachi from Arlong, and that's that. People don't actually come here to get XP. If you do... Well, I'm sorry, but then whoever, whatever tutorial you're watching, or whoever told you to do that is probably just trolling you or is just a complete idiot because this is not a good island for XP at all. It's really one of the worst islands. I won't lie, though. It is probably one of my favorite 
favorite looking islands. It is. This island looks really cool. I won't even lie. Because they actually add a lot of detail in this. Because if you, One Piece spoilers up ahead. If you didn't already know in episode like 40s when he takes down Arlong. You know that scene where he brings him up into that one little library room. And he destroys him. Well, they have this room which is actually pretty awesome if you ask me. And there's a lot of little detail put in the GPO, which is why it's such an awesome game. I want to be honest with you. I want to be completely honest when I say this. Terms of in terms of enjoyment, I personally prefer Block Sleuths. I this game's way better in PvP and every other aspect. The issue why I like Block Sleuths more is because I can kind of chill when I play Block Sleuths. You know, when I'm when I'm playing. GPO, I've got to like full on like put all my potential into it when I'm fighting someone or if I'm fighting a boss, I'm just fighting enemies. You have to really pay attention. Meanwhile, in Block Fruits, it's pretty easy to get fruits because a lot of people just give fruit, free fruits, including myself. And either that or it's just easy to find one because they're like bright as day. GPO, meanwhile, GPO is extremely hard to get a fruit. Like, they do not make it easy for you to get a fruit. I've wasted at least $30 just buying fruit notifiers for an hour just to get two suitcases. So what I'm doing now is I've realized that I'm an idiot and I should have I shouldn't have done that. So now what I'm doing is I'm just gonna save my Robux. I'm just gonna keep on buying Robux and eventually once I have enough, I'm just gonna buy Devil Fruit Notifier. Now guys, honestly, I do not recommend the notifier at all. It, it's not good. You know, if you're gonna, if you're playing GPO and you're gonna do dungeons and sea beasts and stuff, there's really no point of getting. The only reason you sh you could get DF Notifier if you really want for, is to get a fruit earlier on in the game. Not too early, but like around 100 to 200, so it'll speed up your progression a lot, and then you can get all that good stuff a lot faster that's the only really reason except from that you shouldn't join gpo at like level one on the starter on like please give me log yeah please i work so hard on the game get no flute i'm so sad so yeah i don't recommend getting the inf notifier unless you just want to speed it up or you're like me who basically does nothing with their life so half the time they're like playing games or like gpo so they they want to get a fruit no ride just so they can sit around and collect fruits so i kind of want to do this in general because looking for fruits myself obviously and I, I like giving fruits to like noobs and just other people who want them because i feel bad for people who don't have fruits i usually don't give them to like level ones obviously because they don't deserve a fruit i do give it to people who are like level maybe 200 to 300 maybe even max and they don't have a fruit because like they got unlucky they're just beginning suitcase so i feel bad for those people but i'm not gonna give fruits with level one but like as myself i'm level i'm almost level 300 and i have not gotten a fruit once i've gotten a fruit i've gotten two worth fruits in the game like i would literally take a spin and i would eat it just until i get a logia but no Ben is not even that bad, like honestly. But yeah, this guy, this video is just turning into like a whole different video. The whole point of this video was to teach you guys on how to get to Arlong and then the requirements and how to kill him, and strategies on how to kill him and all that information. Now, but now this is just turned into a whole new video about a ton of different stuff. But I guess this is just a lesson in GPO, like just teaching you guys. I'm not that great myself, guys, but. My Roblox username is Henry Danger 7 If you would like, you can friend me, or just type in the comments your username if you want help. I'm not a pro at UPO, you know. I'm not under Clint B. I'm not a pro. I'm definitely not a noob. I'm not a pro either, though. So, if you want, if you're like a low level and you guys want tips on how to get XP fast or where should I go, what island should I go to next, just comment down below and I'll probably know because I'm almost max. Well, not almost max, but like I know how to get to max the rest of the steps, so. Yeah, I'll probably be doing a video, since I've been playing GPO a lot more lately, I'll probably be doing an XP guide on where to go, a leveling guide on from the Star Island all the way up to the New World max level. 
So, stay tuned for that, guys. But I think we're going to end the episode here because I'm going to have to edit this. And I don't want my computer to explode because I have no storage left. Because I just recorded a video that's an hour long. And it's going to take forever to upload. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this little, you know, clip of, like, information and all that crap. But, yeah, stay tuned for more GPO content. And I'll probably be posting. And then once I, if I actually get good, if I get good at the game, and I get, like, a fruit and stuff, then that is definitely when, guys, I will, um, I will start posting, like, a ton of arena and getting fruits and helping you guys out. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to end it here now because I don't want the video to be too long. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Have a nice, have a nice night. Have a good night? Eh, whatever. It's like the same thing. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good night. Bye.